All right, these are updates in the Patra Chaw land scam case. The ED heat is on on the Shiv Sena MP Sanjay Roth. The agency officials have reached his residence in Mumbai. You might remember he had quite publicly skipped summons on Thursday. My colleague Herman is with us right now to bring us developments. Herman, two questions for you. Bring us the most recent update. Uh, where is Sanjay Roth? Is he at his residence right now? Then if you could very quickly give us a summary of exactly what the Patra Chaw scam is. Uh, well, in fact, it was on uh, July 20th when the when the enforcement director had uh, summoned uh, Sanjay Rao for questioning in connection uh, with a case of alleged money laundering, which was linked uh, to the redevelopment of a chawl project in one of the Mumbai suburbs. He had skipped summons at that point in time, as his lawyers had informed uh, the enforcement director, saying that he was in Delhi attending the parliament session. And after that, uh, besides that, even previously too, when he was questioned, uh, when he was in fact summoned by the enforcement director, uh, Sanjay Rao had skipped. At this point, it is believed that Sanjay Rao is very much at his residence. Uh, that is where it is believed that uh, uh, that that he is also going to be uh, questioned by the enforcement director. Is what we are given to understand. And in all likelihood, could also be then brought in uh, to in fact uh, to uh, to uh, to the federal agency's office in South Mumbai. Now, it was in February, somewhere, uh, uh, somewhere around late February, where the enforcement director had arrested uh, Praveen Rao, who was a former director in Guru Ashish uh, uh, Construction, which was a construction company, and was an alleged close aide of, this, of, of Sanjay Rao. And in April, it was when the enforcement director had attached properties close to around 11.5 crores uh, belonging to Sanjay Rao's wife, Varsha Rao, Praveen Rao, as well as Swapna Patkar, uh, who were considered to be very close uh, very close aides of, of, of Sanjay Rao. Now, this is all linked to the redevelopment uh, of uh, the redevelopment of the Chawl in one of the Mumbai suburbs, which is why when Sanjay Rao has skipped the summons, he is now being questioned. Uh, and in all likelihood, could also the possibility of him uh, being brought to the enforcement director's office in South Mumbai uh, cannot be ruled out. All right, so that's what we want to understand from you, Herman. If you could just explain to our audiences, we know that the ED is right now present outside his house. Um, you, I, I would like an update from you here. If Sanjay Rod does not make himself present uh, for the ED when it's come to his house today, what could be the steps that follow? Uh, could you repeat that question? Right. What could be the steps that follow if Sanjay Rod is not present, in fact, in his house today? Well, yes, as I was uh, clearly mentioning, it is also that his wife and other close aides have already uh, are also linked to this particular case, so they could be uh, questioned instead of him. Uh, but the possible they are being given to understand is that uh, it is believed that Sanjay Rao it could be present at his residence. But then, for the formal questioning to take place, he could be brought uh, to the agency's office in South Mumbai. Okay, all right. Uh, Herman, thank you for that update. We're going to go over now to a political reaction to the story. BJP MLA Ram Kadam from Maharashtra with us right now on the phone. Uh, sir, Sata, bhi ke liye dhaniwa. thank you for joining us here at CNN News 18. This update coming in the ED present outside Sanjay Roth's house as we speak, sir. What is your first reaction? See, there are two important things. ED has been calling him since several days. And... Uh, we have seen that Shilsena leader has been avoiding their summons. ED had called him two days ago as well. Why he did not attend their summons? Why he avoided that? What was the reason? Which questions he wanted to avoid? And the first important thing is, whenever ED, CBI, income tax, this department takes action, Hmm? That is not an overnight action. Before that, they find out all the documents. They go through all these documents thoroughly. And once they get some important point, some financial fraud, some financial dismissal, that time only they take action. When EB has called Mr. Sanjay Rao two days ago, if he has not done anything wrong, he would have attended that summons. Instead of attending that summons, he avoided. What is the reason? And now it's very obvious that ED will take action. Uh, As for the law. Sir, can now, I... when, they, when they have been taking action, so I'm sure now Shusena leaders will come forward and they will uh, uh, say simply, say this is a political vendetta. What is the political vendetta? 
when there is a clear cut financial fraud from which account how many money transferred how the money laundering happened when these are the evident in a public domain the whole country has been saying for the past several days and how the shiv sena leadership they have been avoiding ed summons so what is the expectations so this is what i wanted to ED, ask you ED is this, should not is this action against him just the because of he is a senior leader of shiv sena so all right i want to understand from you did the bjp expect that it would come to this uh, we all you know the nation watched as uh, the shiv sena spokesperson sanjay raut did not appear before the ed on wednesday but was this an expected follow up All right, we'll uh, try to re-establish that connection with Ram Kadam. But for now, we have uh, our bureau chief from Mumbai, Vinaya Deshpande. She's with us to bring us more in terms of context. Vinaya, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Vinaya, for your for our audiences, can you bring us more on the most recent developments we've seen play out this morning? All right, we'll try to re-establish that connection with our Mumbai bureau chief. Remember, Rajya Sabha MP and Shiv Sena spokesperson Sanjay Rod did not appear before the Enforcement Directorate in Mumbai on Wednesday too. He said he was in Delhi attending the Parliament session. Let's go over now to my colleague, our Mumbai bureau chief Vinaya Deshpande. I believe we have been able to establish the connection. Vinaya, could you give us more context to the most recent developments? Uh, well, yes, uh, we've known that uh, you know the ED had sent several summons to Sanjay Raut for the Patra Chol uh, case that it has been investigating till now, and now uh, we are seeing that a team of ED officials is already at the residence of Sanjay Raut. Uh, now, remember, this also comes on the background of complaints of threat. Uh, that has been uh, given by one of the witnesses whose statement was recorded by the ED recently. In fact, uh, Swapna Patkar, who's uh, the estranged wife of Sujit Patkar, who's also associated with Sanjay Raut, had claimed uh, that Sanjay Raut had threatened her of dire consequences. Uh, so right now, not only is the ED investigating the 1,034 crore Patrachal land scam case, uh, under which uh, it is uh, questioning, uh, it is probing Sanjay Raut, and that is why he was sent several summons in order to appear in front of the ED. Uh, we have seen that he had taken exemptions from the ED till now, ostensibly because he was in Delhi uh, with respect uh, to the parliamentary session that was going on. Uh, now, uh, you know, on the background of uh, the summons that was sent to him, a t team of ED has already reached. Uh, they want to know about his business links and other links, uh, particularly with Praveen Raut, Sujit Patkar, uh, who have already been under scanner in the property deals uh, that are uh, involving uh, the MP of Shiv Sena. Uh, so right now, troubles only mounting for Sanjay Raut. Uh, after he failed to appear in front of the ED after summons were sent to him, we've seen that a team of the ED officials is at his doorstep. This is seen as a further step in the probe in 1,034 crore Patra Chol land scam case which is being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. Meanwhile, uh, the ED has also received complaints of uh, by uh, witnesses in this case of threats uh, by Sanjay Raut, and that is what the BJP claims will also be uh, something that will come under scanner. Back to you. Vinaya, do we know?